In this video, let's see how we can create debound text field in Flutter. So what happens if we will not use debound text field, then in some cases where user will input something in text box and we have to call the API or do some heavy calculations like uh, doing database query or some other heavy stuff based on the user input. In that case, debound text field can be very helpful. Let's see how to fix that or use the debound text field in Flutter. Right now, here is the normal text field. I have created the controller and assigned the controller in it. And also on change, I am calling this function on search changed. And this is just a normal function on search changed. And each time the search is changed, it will print search query. So this can be like API call or some heavy operation. So let's type something here in text box. So let's say user is searching for Apple. So as you can see here, I typed quickly even though it is hitting the API for all the characters like it searched for A, it searched for AP, it searched for AWP. So this is very redundant or costly if you will not use debound text field. First, let's create a timer. Let's call it debounce and then inside this on search changed function if debounce is active otherwise you will say is false if it is null so if debounce is active then first we need to cancel it so call debounce dot cancel and then assign the new timer in debounce so debounce is equal to timer and here provide a duration of 500 millisecond or whatever duration fits best for you so this duration is like if user will type something and wait so here if user will be it for 500 millisecond then api call or whatever this on search change is will be triggered with the actual value in this case i am waiting for 500 millisecond so this is the debounce timer and uh, next after comma provide this kind of function and you have to do all your heavy calculations here inside this function api call or some heavy calculation based on user input can be inside this function so let's print for now search query and let's remove this first print let's hot restart and let's type apple and as you can see now it is only calling the api or executing this once user stops or user waits for the 500 millisecond and if you want it to happen little quickly then you can increase or decrease the duration for example if you want to call this once user waits for the longer period of time then you can make it even longer like 800 milliseconds now if even if user will wait for 500 milliseconds it will not get called because it is now 800 so it will again cancel it and again initialize it so this will not be called and it will be cancelled beforehand so let's type something like uh, my name is as you can see i typed it little slowly even though it didn't call this search query and if you want it to happen little faster you can give some less timing so now let's type with the same speed my name each as you can see this time it is going little faster that's why for m it searched for my complete and then for complete name and then for complete each so this kind of duration you can adjust if the this call is necessary for the quick user query then you can give here short duration like 200 milliseconds and if you want user to properly stop or wait longer period of time or maybe this operation is too costly or heavy then you can give here longer duration like one second or 800 milliseconds and no change in the text field just the controller and on search change function and one more important thing do not forget to cancel the timer that's all. I hope now you understand how the bounce text field works in Flutter and you can use it. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe.